Hi guys, how are you? Thanks for joining me again. And um, today I'm gonna do a, uh, a little pour on this lovely little 24 by 18 inch. I call it little, it's not really little, 24 by 18 inch is kind of big for me. And um, you might notice a few scribbles on there as well. As uh, we're still struggling here a little bit with the coronavirus. So uh, we're short on canvases. So this was actually a canvas that me and my little girl Holly made a game with some magnets and uh, some ball bearings. But uh, it got uh, re-commandeered here for the, uh, <laughs> for the sake of, of doing a bit of art. So what I'm trying today is I'm going to try a, a Dutch pour. We do, of course, have uh, the lovely Rinske Downe and the fabulous Erica Hughes art uh, to thank for the inspiration for this. Um, I follow their channels very closely and uh, I'm trying to uh, do my best to get the same results that they do. Although it is a trial and error, of course. I. Um, as soon as I uh, spread out this paint, I did really, well, I didn't realize, but I thought to myself, mm, maybe this is a little bit thick, but I'll, I'll persevere and I'll, and I'll carry on and uh, see how I go. So the paint for the back uh, for, this, uh, for this layer is uh, a let me see, what was it? It was Oxide Black from Amsterdam and a mixture of Mars Black in with it. So the paint was 50-50, but um, I was using Floetrol for all the paints. And what I was using there was a two-tone mixture. So two Floetrol to one paint. And that's for all of the paints that I used. And the other paints that you can see there along the side, I'll, uh, I'll name them all off you here. Maybe not in necessarily order, but I've got some titanium white here from Amsterdam. Um, I also have uh, Thalo Blue, which is an Arteza. Born Sienna, that's Arteza as well. And I've got Oyster Pearl, which is, uh, comes in a little bottle. And uh, it's lovely, actually. Uh, that's from Deco Art. And the other paint that I have is uh, Glorious Gold from Deco Art as well. Yeah. Yes, I, I did decide to try and blow out. This is when I actually realized, hang on, this paint might be a little bit thick. It's not going anywhere. And I was worried about when I tried to blow it out, was it gonna go anywhere? Um, so uh, we, we, we definitely soon find that. I realized then, of course, that I definitely don't have enough paint on there because I could see the canvas coming through. But that was one of the things that I'll have to look out for for next time. I just didn't have enough, enough paint. Now this one, although I wasn't sure as well about the order on which way to put these, I've been trying to follow a lot of people online and check out different colors, combinations and whatever way that they actually uh, pour them, which order that they pour them in. But I've gone there for the Burnt Sienna first and then I've gone for uh, the Glorious Gold after that, a little bit conscious of trying to um, put contrasting colors together although I'm not sure that doing a Dutch pour that that's necessarily beneficial I'm not 100% sure but anyway that's what I tried so I think there that is the actual uh, oyster pearl and I think I'm looking at it around and wondering, oops, I need a contrasting color here. What one am I gonna do? So of course I go for the phthalo blue and then throw the little bit of white 
on top. Now, as soon as I put the, the white on there, I realized that there's some reaction going on there. And I thought, this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna get cells all over the place. And I was also a bit worried I didn't have enough paint there to spread around so that I could blow, um, blow that base color over the top of the paints. So yeah, so as I blew that out there, I realized skill of using that hairdryer is gonna have to be worked on there. I'm giving it little shakes like that. I was getting all sorts of shapes that I didn't like. And just going straight, I was getting shapes I didn't like. I was just conscious about trying to leave spaces, but at the same time, there were areas that just didn't, didn't look right. So I, uh, I just went for it. I didn't like the way I kind of ended up with just a big block, but I think next time that I do it, I'm going to maybe, instead of doing a puddle, I might do a line from side to side across the canvas. The only problem is all I have are large canvases now at the moment because of this virus. Again, it's been, it's such a pain to try and get stuff. Um, I am, I am blowing. I did blow out with my mouth a few parts here, but I kept putting my head in front of the big camera, so I cut all those parts out. So this is the end result. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I'll leave you with uh, looking at a few of these bits. I am happy with it in the end. And uh, subscribe if you like the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.